Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Axe Japan. Welcome to another guitar lesson. And today we're tackling uh, one of the best songs of, of uh, the new Unseen World album, Afterlife. Funnily enough, I didn't actually think this was one of the best songs uh, when I first heard the album, but since doing this cover and learning the song, uh, I've just grown a whole new appreciation for this and it's definitely become one of my favorites now. So I apologize in advance for my blog nose. I might sound a bit nasally today. Hay fever is kicking in big time. So yeah, uh, lots of antihistamines, which also dry my mouth out really badly. So um, I'll try and keep that under control with war. So just quickly before we start, um, just about the Nemo Made Kickstarter. If you've been following that at all, uh, you'll be interested to know that the uh, that the Kickstarter is like 80% funded now, which is amazing. Obviously I'd like to achieve more so we can uh, get a bass player involved. But yeah, I'm just I'm I'm blown away that we've uh, reached you know this amount so quickly. So thank you so much again for all of you that have uh, supported the project. And if you're watching this in the future, you'll be able to download the single uh, through my Patreon page. All the links are in the description. Okay, so if you haven't already, please check out the cover that I did. It's definitely one of the best ones I think I've ever done. Uh, I had so much fun doing this and playing the song. So please check that out if you haven't already. But if you're here to learn the song, then let's do it. So this is a challenging song, no doubt about it. It's definitely going to take some effort. You know, I've I've been I've been trying to practice this, you know, for over a month, well over a month. It's actually not too bad. It's just the solo with the, the sweet picking. That's the, the part I found the most tricky. Perseverance, practice, and, you know, you get there. So tuning for the song is just uh, drop D, but we're also half a step down. So um, if I play an open D chord, it sounds like this. Intro. Okay, so we've got this little intro before the main riff kicks in. So what we're doing here is power bends. So it goes like this. I'll do that slow. Okay, so this power bend is, we're on the 17th fret of the G string. And we're also holding the note here on B on the 15. You need to make sure those match. Bend up till you hit that note. And then we slide up, so we're all the way up here on the 20 on the G and 18 on the B. Okay, and then we're into these octaves, uh, starting on 13. So that's on the A string, 13, and 15 on the G string. Mute the one in the middle. To 12. To 10. Back to 12. Back to 10. And then finish on uh, 8. And then it's into the main riff. Okay, so here's the main riff. This is at full speed. And here's it slow. Okay, so what we're doing here is we've got um, three strums open, you know, low D power chord. And then we've got We've got a D in between there as well. So it's kind of pedaling off of the open D power chord. So basically you want to hit that um, D chord here. This power chord. So we've got five on the A, uh, seven on the D, seven on the G. Hit that with the upstroke. And then you've got the D downstroke straight after. And then down here, slide that down to three. Again, upstroke. And there's a D in between there again, and then we're back, you know, to the first position again, upstroke. So you hear that there's a D, you know, in between those chords. Okay, and then after that chord, there's another, you know, down half straight after that. Uh, and then after that, it's 
So that's three, so bar three, five, three. And then we're gonna go five again, but we're gonna slide up to six. And then open. And then just repeat that whole thing, and then the, the, the tail part changes the second time. So instead of uh, going open, you just do the slide twice. So it's five to six, five to six. And just repeat that again. Verse one. Okay, and then we're into the verse part. This is probably the easiest part of the song. It goes like this, full speed. I'll do that slow. Okay, so this is just all on the, uh, you know, the open E string or, you know, low D string. So the trick with this part is you're going to have to use this hand uh, to mute the strings all the time. Okay, because, you know, they're very staccato, these notes. So, you know, pretty much after you do these uh, strokes here and I'm doing upstrokes, they're just easier for me. So it's down, down up and then a mute, and then upstroke, mute, upstroke, mute, upstroke, mute. And then it's up here on the 10, three times, twice then on the six, twice on the five, then to three. Just repeat that kind of pattern. And then five, six, seven. And then just repeat. And that's all it is. Bridge! Okay, and then we're into the bridge. Uh, so the bridge part goes like this. Okay, I'll just play it slow now. Okay, so this is one of those things that, you know, if, when you, if, <clears throat> so this bit was actually quite tricky for me. It's just one of those things, if you don't have the muscle memory for, you know, a, a certain type of pattern, it just takes a while, and this was the case with this. So what we're doing here is we've got a little bar here on five between the A and the D. So these are the first three notes. Five, five, and then seven on the D. And then we're just gonna play open D after that. And then we're gonna do five to seven on the G. And then open D, five, and then seven, still on the D. So all together. Then open again, and then five to seven on the G again. And then we've got um, this bit. So that's six on the B to five to seven on the G. And then we come back in the same pattern, uh, but we're coming in slightly before the, the beat. You know, it's pushed. So there's a, uh, so that rings a little bit longer than it did the first time, just to, you know, so you can catch up. And then when we get to that bit again, instead of, we got, so that's just uh, up here on the B on the 10. Uh, and then we just start that over. And then we finish it with octaves here. So that's just six and, so six and nine, seven, 10. 
Okay, and then just to finish it off before the chorus, we've got this. Okay, so all that is, is just a, so like a kind of D minor shape. So we've got five here on the G, three on the B, and then five on the E. And we're just uh, palm muting, and we're going to the E string, to the G, to the B. And then we go right up here to power bend. So it's not the power bend we had before, oddly enough. Uh, we're just down here, we're down a fret. Uh, so we're on 16 on the G and 14 on the B. And then we're sliding up to 19 on the G and 17 on the B. And then we're into the chorus. Kuroso! Okay, so the chorus is also uh, another really easy part of the song, which is great. <laughs> this is how it goes. So this chorus part is just, you know, just one big repeating pattern. So we've got the first chord here, which is five on the G, six on the B, eight on the high E. And then we're gonna go back to these chords just together. These will never change. You always keep those fingers here because we're always gonna go back to this chord after each one. And then the next one is pinky up here on the B on the eight. And then we're going to come down here to six on the high E underneath. So use your third finger for that. And then back up to the B uh, on the eighth with your pinky. Uh, and then at the very end there, uh, we just go to the high E for the last one. And then we start it again on the high E. I just like to strum that up and down. It just feels right to do. I think that's what Konami does too. Uh, and that's it. So you're basically just strumming the whole thing. And that's it, really easy. After that, it's back into the main riff. Uh, nothing changes there. Um, then it's into the uh, verse riff again. Uh, nothing's really different there, except that it stops early. So when it goes through the second time, uh, when it comes back down, it just stops there. And there's a gap, so there's no that time. And then it goes into the bridge, uh, which is just the same, except the tail is uh, slightly different. Um, like the end part of the, the bridge is different. Uh, so it's these octaves again, it's just the strumming kind of changes. So it does that instead. So it's same. So it's da 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 da. And then we're gonna slide up here to 12 and the 15. And we're gonna slide, we're gonna hit that and slide down. So we're gonna slide that into a little lead part um, that will take us into the chorus. So all that is is 10 to 12 on the D, hammer on. 10 on the G, back to 12 on the D. Back to 10 on the G and then bend 12 on the G three times. Bring it down and then back to 10 on the G. And then it's back to the uh, power bends as normal. 
and then into the chorus. And the chorus is exactly the same, and then it just goes into the pre-solo part. Okay, so the pre-solo just starts with a big open D power chord. <laughs> And then we've got these harmonics. So if you've got a guitar with 24 frets, uh, you can play this like Konami does, uh, right up on the 24th fret. But if you don't, then you just have to play them on the 12. They're the same notes, uh, it's just, you know, they just have a different harmonic. Um, so her ones sound a bit higher. It's just the E string, the B string, and the G string harmonic. Then it's into the part just before the solo. Same kind of thing as we did for the bridge. Bar on five over the A and the D, and then seven on the D. I find it down, down, up is a good picking pattern for this. Once we get past bar four, back to there, back to the five on the D, and then and then start it over again. And that's when we start to do the solo. Okay, then it sends a guitar solo. Guitar solo! Okay, so this is by far the hardest part of the song, not just because of the sweet picking. I mean, if you're good at sweet picking, then this will probably be no problem for you. Uh, what I found uh, especially difficult is getting into the sweet picking from the crazy like double slide that she does. Uh, because you have to be so fast and then you have to be so accurate to like where you start the sweeps from. So like it's, it's a lot to do in such a short space of time. Okay, so here's the solo at full speed. Okay, and then here's the solo slowed down. Sounds a bit messy because of the sweet. It's really hard to actually do sweep slow. It's actually easier to do them faster, uh, which is really strange. Okay, so the first part's easy enough. It's just a trill. Just back and forth between the five and seven on the G. Uh, so it's about four, four times. And then into the slide. So, you know, this is kind of just random, but you want to sort of aim for around about the 15, 17 fret, kind of round about where you where, where you start the sweep. So that's a good place to aim for. Okay, so once you do the two slides, then we're into the sweep part. Uh, so we've got four different patterns and we descend on the neck and then we just repeat those four patterns. Um, so I'll just do the notes and then we'll go over the right hand. Okay, so First it's uh, 17 on the high E and we're pulling off to the 13 on the high E. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna use our second finger and put that down on the 15 on the B. And then 14 on the G. And then we're gonna go back to 15 and then back to the high E on the 17th fret. Okay, and to do the sweep, so you pull that off, and then it's upstroke on the 15, and then this is where we start the sweep uh, from the 14, so we're going down, 15, and then the high E. So that's all the sweep motion. Okay, not a strum. The whole thing about sweep picking is that you have to make the notes completely even in terms of length. That's why sometimes it's difficult to do it slowly. Okay, so the next one, what's quite good about this is that the last three patterns are all the same. It's only the first one that's quite as different. So it's 15 pull off to 12, and then it's second finger on the 13 on the B, and then uh, 12 on the G. And then we start the sweep. 12, 13, 15 on the high E. And then we come down to 
13. And that's the same pattern. So you just start on 13, pull off to 10, 11 on the B, and then 10 on the G. And then just down one more fret. And then, so it's 12, pull off to 9, 10 on the B, 9 on the G. And then back up. So all together really slow. And you want to try and use this hand to mute the strings as well because you want every note to be really clean. Just try and keep other strings muted so you don't really so you don't accidentally hit them. Okay, and that's the sweep pattern. After the sweep, we do like another little slide. So I, I do it from 17, I think she does it from there as well, 17 on the A string. And then we're going into alternative picking on the A string. So all that is is, so the slide, and then it's, so it's 10 on the A. So we're just, you know, pulling these off to 12, to 13, back to 12, back to 10, and then back to 12. When you get to 12, you can kind of slide out of it. And then we're into the, the last lick, which is um, a run. Okay, so that's just 9, 10 on the D to 12. And then same again on the G. And then we repeat that on the G. And then we're going to slide up one fret to the B, same pattern. So it's 10, 11, 13. So all together. And then we finish off, we just slide up two frets and we start on the 12 on the B. So it's 12, 13, 15. And then same on the high E. And then bend that 15 up. Full bend. So we get that 17 note. So all together again. Yeah, and that's the solo. Okay, and then we go into this um, kind of middle A part uh, where she just plays this. So all that is is just 12 on the high E, uh, 13 on the high on the B, and then 13 on the high E. And then back to 12 on the high E. And then back to 13 on the B. 13 on the high E. 12 on the high E. And then back to 13 on the B. And then we just start that over again. Okay, and then it's into octaves. And then into power bands. Okay, so the octaves are eight. So it's eight on the A, ten on the G. Slide down to the seven. Back to eight. To ten. Back to eight. Back to seven. And then power bands. Twelve on the G, ten on the B. Three of those. And then it's back into the uh, this little thing uh, that we had in the bridge. And then back into the power bands up here as well. Then there's the little pause, uh, and then we're into a pre-chorus. Okay, so this pre-chorus is another really easy part, so it's just octaves again, just starting on the 8. And then we just slide up to 10 and then back to 8, and it's just single strokes. And stop. And then we're into the last chorus. And the last chorus is literally just uh, half a chorus, and then it's back into the main riff.
and nothing else is different. It just goes into the main riff, and then it just ends with a big open uh, chord. And then there's a kind of gradual build up, and then you just mute the strings. And I messed up the timing of that at the end of the cover. And that's it. And that is the whole song, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have fun with it. Uh, I definitely did. Um, it's a challenge. Uh, definitely the solo. You know, I've always wanted to try and learn how to sweep. I still can't do it. You know, it's. It, I feel like I'm not doing it quite right. I need to uh, still work on it. I, you know, I managed to do it to a passable uh, level there, but I still think I can get it cleaner. Um, and I still don't think that all my notes are are completely even. Uh, I'm going to have to sit and just practice with a, ne a metronome. You know, I always wanted to, you know, find uh, a sweet pattern that, you know, I wanted to learn. This is quite a good one. And I think Konami's obviously dabbled with it before, but this is the first time she's kind of properly put it in a solo. Um, there is some in the U solo, but it's kind of masked by another guitar part. So maybe she thought it didn't sound quite as good. And that's why she kind of did that. Uh, but this is the first proper sweep she's ever done. Uh, and she did say in the in, in an interview that she kind of brought focus to the, the fact that she was doing a sweep, uh, but that it wasn't too hard. One that she's practiced and she's kind of worked into this, this solo because, you know, she's obviously like building up her own sweeping skills. So yeah, it's cool to kind of practice where she's at in terms of sweeping. And like, if I can get there, then you know, it'll inspire me to try and push further into other kind of sweeping arpeggios. So any questions at all, guys, just let me know in the comments. Um, I will try my best to get around to Miku's part next week. I'm actually going for an operation next week, so I'm not sure there will be a video. Um, it's nothing serious, don't worry. I might not be quite up for doing a video next week, but yeah, we'll see. But if not, Miku part will definitely be the week after. So again, about the Nemo made Kickstarter, if you haven't checked out the, the track previews already, please do. Links in the description. Uh, if you like what you hear, I uh, would really appreciate the support. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Good luck with it. And uh, yeah, take care. See you soon. Bye.